for we are to God the fragrance of Christ. 2 Corinthians 2 verse 15. Hello everybody, welcome to the channel and this is Talkware and you're on Top Notes by Talkware. So if today is the first time you see my face, I am a fragrance reviewer and so if you love fragrance content, this is where to be. Click the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so that you are always in the loop when I upload a new video. Today I'm going to review a Latafa fragrance. So if you're interested in knowing which fragrance, without much ado, let's get into the video. So the fragrance that I am reviewing is the beautiful Latafa Al Nashama. So this is what it looks like. This is a really beautiful scent. I like the bottle. I like the marble-like cover thing though i find that the cover is like this is the whole bottle okay so to have this entire bit as a cover you know it could have been a bit smaller but again the juice is is great okay so for notes let me first let's go to the atomizer okay don't forget to like this video also tell me in the comment section what your scent of the day is today i'm still wearing um, latafa's uh, Tariac, that's my scent of it. This is a juicy scent. So it has bergamot and sage pep and pink pepper at the top. It has in the middle plum, black pepper, and jasmine. In the base, it has safiano leather, it has amber, it has patchouli, and it has moss. Okay, so this is more if you want to look at the accords, it's a fruity it's a sweet scent okay so it's a fruity scent and it's a sweet scent that's what i pick up on the most so i'll say that um i'm going to spray it here so my daughter really likes the scent i i i i i, I guess why she likes it so yeah this scent starts off very the plum is what comes up as soon as and it's quite like it starts off as a juicy plum maybe because it comes in combination with the uh, um the bergamot so it comes up like a juicy so it's it just imagine like there's a per there's a plum that has been diced into a bowl of ice and then you sprinkle a bit of bergamot on it and you know so it gives it that freshness to it that's how it begins with and then it's also like the pink pepper gives it an added freshness but it's just like a warm you know spiciness freshness to it that's how it starts so at the top the first 20 minutes what you're getting is a bright plum with the best of you know bergamot and also the warm bright spicy of pink peppers coming in and then after like 40 to one hour it begins to you know come better much more into itself and when it comes into itself it begins to get warm and then the amber makes the plum very jammy so you begin to pick up a very jammy almost syrupy plum note after the first hour of the fragrance and this is where the fragrance gets really good the jammy plum now comes up with that um, safiano leather but again it's not leather like strong core animalic leather what it is is almost like um a dusty leather that it has and then it, it, it what, what i notice is that the jasmine shows up slightly when the plum becomes jammy because but the jasmine you're picking is an indolic jasmine so you almost don't smell it because it, 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 it sort of blends so well with the plum and that's how it stays till the end so till the end it's just a sweet jammy plum with um like um, a warm amber base and some whiffs of like a dusty suede note so it's very very beautiful it's slightly almost linear but it's just very very beautiful it's i'll say that it's quite a unique scent it's juicy especially at the first one hour where the plum is bright and juicy and it's mixing well with the pink peppers and the bergamot it's so juicy then at the second phase it begins to get that jammy plumness with a dusty um, leather or suede kind of um, vibe and then with the warm amber in it that's 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 what i get this scent is quite a great scent it has 
it has a, a, quite a good longevity i know that um, i do have a vintage radio which i might do a side-by-side -side comparison of the two um this is um on my skin it projects for about two hours i'm telling you two hours so the good thing is that in the projection the first hour you're getting that bright plum and um, bergamot with pink peppers and then in the second hour you're getting the jammy part of it in it and then it has this is a very you know it has quite a great sillage it's about an arm's length so it sort of leaves a statement it, you know people will smell you okay and then um longevity i think for me on my skin it was it, it took after the two hour it, it, it formed a very good like scent bubble around me but that scent bubble was one that you can smell if you were about an arm's length of me after the two hour mark and it, it i would say that it lasted for about seven hours right and um, i find that after the three hour mark it, it stays much closer to you almost like um not closer to you but not as close as a skin scent you understand it stays much closer but you know you'll be getting whiffs of it people can also smell you this is an absolute absolute compliment magnet like everybody that has smelled the scent of me has complimented me like it is an absolute compliment magnet at least on my skin like the first day the, the, the thing that drew my daughter to it was that she had come i was playing around with it i worked from home most of the time she was like Wait, what are you wearing this place smells so good i was like oh i'm worried in the morning right after you guys left for school it's like oh my god i can really smell so when i was coming through the the corridor so i work in the living room she's coming from the corridor like i can smell you you know and i find that 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 was really great so this has it, it's a very nice scent it's great performing it's 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 not i won't say beast mode but it performs very well you know so it's not that like beast mode scent but i'll say it performs very well this scent i would say that it is unisex but i would say that it leaves 55 percent feminine and 45 percent masculine it, it's not a 50 50 it, 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 this one because of the sweetness and the juiciness that has in the beginning and also how the plum somehow becomes um jammy you would find that it may be a put off for some males that like the the quintessential masculine scent but the addition of the amber and the safiano um leather notes gives it a bit of a grounding to you know give at the end which is you i would say that makes it appealing to men so um i would say that this i would easily say it's an all year round scent but will do well for summer spring and maybe autumn i wouldn't want this for even for autumn i would say that when summer is about going and autumn hasn't shown its face so much i won't say this is a winter scent so that's what i think about it if i want to grade this scent i'm going to give it i'll say that i like it so much so i'm going to give it an eight over ten so i would like to know your scent of the day but i also know if you had experience with latafa's al nashama okay thank you very much for watching this video i'll see you in my next video okay and if you have not click the subscribe button please don't forget to click the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so that you are always notified when i upload a video thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you in my next video stay safe and stay safe